Hi everyone. In the last unit, we went over introduction to matter, and we called that unit one, lesson A. We decided to split up this unit into two pieces to make it easier for you guys and so that there wouldn't be so much on your test. So the next lesson we're gonna do is gonna be lesson five in unit one B, and it's called pure substances and mixtures. And the question we're going to try to ask, the essential question, is how do pure substances and mixtures compare? <laughs> and so everything we do in class is tied to standards. And so this um, lesson is going to be going over S8P1A and S8P1D. We start out with standards at the um, county level with the Fulton County standards, priority standards. And then we go to the Georgia level, which are the Georgia um, standards of excellence. And those both tie to the national standards, which are the next generation science standards. So every activity we do has a standard attached to it. Like all your other lessons, we're gonna start out with an engage your brain. This is kind of like a pre-test or pre-assessment of what you know before you do the lesson. So you don't look up the answers. This is what you're thinking right now. When you get to the end of the lesson, you should come back to this page and see if you changed your mind about anything or if you learned anything. Party like a rock star. We're not looking at the right place. Oh. Okay, so we start out with three statements. Um, where you're going to mark whether the statements are true or false. So take a minute, answer those, and come back to the video when you're ready. The next question asks you to think of a substance. Oh, I didn't ask you to do that. Okay, think of a substance that does not dissolve in water. And, and to draw and sketch in that area what happens when you add that substance to water. And so on the next slide, I have a couple of GIFs to help you visualize that. And so on the top, we have something being added to water. I think that's probably magic sand, I think is what they call it. Why are you doing that? Oh my goodness. PowerPoint's working itself today. And so we have a lot of phenomenon going on there in the top picture. But the one that I want you to pay attention to right now is that it is not dissolving in the water. Based on our last unit, we also know a couple of other things. We know that the density of water is one gram per, that's right, cubic centimeter or milliliter. We know that the density of the magic sand is more than one because it is sinking. And in the bottom picture, you have some oil. Oil and water don't mix. Um, there's an old saying that you guys don't mix. You're like oil and water. It means you don't get along very well. And so the oil doesn't mix and it floats to the top. We know that oil has a density less than water because it's floating on top of the water. So does it mix with water or does it not mix with water? As you go in your science classes, you're going to learn about the phenomenon of why it dissolves and why it doesn't dissolve. Then we're on to a synthesize activity. And in science, we have a whole bunch of vocabularies. Oh my goodness, PowerPoint, what are you leading yourself? We have a whole bunch of um, vocabulary words, and we talked about how vocabulary can be the stumbling block. And so if you break down most scientific words into their prefixes and suffixes and root words, that can help you figure out what the word means. And so here's two that you're going to see, and you're going to see them next year when you go into biology also. So the um, root word homo means the same, and hetero means different. So here is an example of a homogeneous um, liquid. And so you have a person adding some dye to water. And if we let that water set, the dye is going to equally spread out into the beaker. And that would make it homogeneous or the same throughout. 
Same thing happens if you put salt and water together. You mix it up and the salt breaks up into sodium ions and chlorine ions and they um, balance themselves out within the water itself so that there's an equal proportion throughout the salt water. Heterogeneous, can I move my, my face? Oh, I can move my face. Heterogeneous means that there's no chemical combinations and it's a mixture of different things. And so this, this is kind of like our um, potato straws in that we had things of different density and they some of them didn't mix together. And so in the beaker on the right, you probably have some oil, water, and it looks like some rocky dirt. And so even if we shook that up, it would still be hedro, well, no, we could shake it up to where it would be even, but if we let it set, um, then we would end up having a heterogeneous mixture. Hetero meaning different. Hello, PowerPoint. Okay, so that's the end for this one.